Hello everybody. So, sorry it's taken me so long to make this video, but it's just taken me a long time to feel like doing it because um, of the sort of ongoing problems, but I will explain from the beginning because you want to know about the crash and I've got a lot to remember and a lot to fit in, so what I'm going to try and do is do it from the beginning and that way I shouldn't forget anything, I hope. Anyway, okay, so Tuesday the 13th of November, it's 5 o'clock, I've just got an early finish from work. Fucking wish I hadn't. Um, I left uh, work and it's going to be difficult for me to tell you parts from that point, I'll, um, because well, as you'll find out in a minute. But anyway, uh, I'll explain the crash situation. Uh, I was driving along, there is a car to my right, pulling out of a road to my right. Uh, I believe he was pulling out of the road, or he could have come straight down. Again, you'll understand why I'm having these problems in a minute. But he was definitely oncoming and then stopped, if you can imagine, you're riding like this, you've got a car on the oncoming lane this side, he wants to turn across my path. He stopped um, by the white line, and I'm looking at him thinking, yeah, okay, he's going to let me go, I think, I think that's what I was thinking. Um, and I was on the, so what I do then in that situation is I move to the outer edge, so if he does start pulling out on me, I have more time to nip in front of him. Now, that has saved my butt several times. Whether it's right or not, I don't know, but I've always done it. If someone's going to pull across my path and I'm getting close, I keep as far away from him as possible because you can nip round the front. Anyway, um, he started pulling out into my lane, at which point I was like, oh shit, he's in my lane. Uh, I started heavily braking on the front. The bike, um, and I was tracking and aiming behind his car because I knew I had a bit of runoff there and I thought, if I get past the back of his car... I can probably recover this, it'll be fine. So I'm on the brakes hard, I'm moving the bike across, and it just cannot get the bike to track that far across. Uh, I, the distance that he, I was away from his car is going to be, it's probably two seconds worth of braking, if that. It's going to be a lot less than that, isn't it, because everything slows down. <laughs> um, but yeah, the I realised I wasn't going to get past the back of his car, I realised I was going to hit him, and was like, oh, bollocks. And... And that is the point that I have a problem, again. Because I don't actually remember anything between leaving work, that short section before I crashed, hitting the car, then it's a blank. Complete blank for over half an hour. Uh, by the time that I came to, knowingly, um, I was stood up by the side of the road, uh, the ambulance had just was just arriving, the police were there, and... Apparently I'd been talking to people for some 20 minutes, or been around awake, but I don't remember any of that. Um, again, I remember being in the ambulance, but I don't remember how I got in the ambulance. Um, apparently I made phone calls in the ambulance, letting some uh, friends and family know what had happened, just to stop and worry and say, well look, this is where I'm going to be, this is what's happened. Apparently I described my knee as a little scratch. Probably did that not to worry people too much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember any of this. This is the, the mad thing about it. Um, then I was taken to the hospital. Um, QA. That was terrible. Four and a half hours in a neck brace before a doctor even touched me. Didn't actually get my spine checked. Wasn't checked for internal bleeding. They only x-rayed one of my two hands. Um, and I'll explain the injuries in a minute and you'll see why that's a problem. Um... I was attacked by an old lady who was loose around the Major's ward. And I say attacked, she grabbed hold of me. But I was pinned to a board tape down, pretty concussed and not sure what was going on. And all I know is there's some old deer, about a hundred and something, nuts standing over me. Um, she also grabbed hold of the trolley when they were trying to dress my knee. Um, which had all the sterile stuff on it, which was great. Um, then... Two days later, um, after I got out, I got out of hospital that night. I was back out by that eleven o'clock at night. Um, I contracted glandular fever, and if you don't know what glandular fever is, uh, it's a bit of a weird virus that most people would pick up throughout their life, either contract it in their early teens or they would catch it as a toddler, and then you don't show any symptoms of it, and you never catch it again. A bit like the chicken pox. Once you've had it, you've got it, and you don't lose it. It's always in your system. Well, I obviously had managed to miss that, and I caught glandular fever, and I'm telling you now, you do not want that shit. It fucks you up. It's horrible. I originally thought it was tonsillitis, because I had some lumps in my throat, um, but when I realised I was on penicillin-based antibiotics, and then the doctor came around, she was like, 
no, I think this might be glandular fever. I had a blood test and it was. Uh, thankfully, that is going... It's pretty much gone now, um, although I have to be careful for the next three weeks um, because it can cause infl um, inflammation of the liver and the spleen, which can leave me susceptible to internal bleeding if I was to fall over or anything. But as you can imagine, I'm not very active, so I'm not really much chance of getting hurt um, like that. I'm going to show you Betty now. Um, so have a look at Betty. Right, so you wanted to see Betty. Well, there you go. She's dead. Um, as you can see, the uh, the yokes snapped clean off. The entire front assembly of everything that was attached to the forks broke. Um, there's a pile of, pile of fairings down there. That sprocket, by the way, isn't from um, the current bike, obviously, because it's on the floor. <laughs> right, here's something that is quite amazing, though. <sighs> ah! Yeah, that's how little I can use my thumbs. But I'm trying, I'm trying. And no, it wasn't in neutral when I crashed. I actually managed to get it into neutral just to see if the gearbox was fucked. And, um, it might be. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. Where are we? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm getting confused here. Indicators. Oh! Oh, we have developments. I promise you, these were flashing yesterday. Uh, <laughs> but they're not now. Oh, no, no, that's bad. I was saying yesterday how you can't kill a Betty, but that's the relay got wet. Let's give it a jiggle. Um, the reason there's... The reason the relay's got wet is because it's broken and I bodged it a long time ago. Um, but I had to pack it using some uh, towel, and obviously that's now got wet. It worked perfectly all the time I needed it to. Oh, where's the, what's the final KM count? Oh, uh, what's else? Does that work? Yeah, all works. High beam, low beam? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> um. Yeah, the final count was 42,881 kilometres, although it was more than that because I didn't have a speedo cable for a while at one point. The bars, as you... I might be able to show you. <laughs> Are uh, significantly bent. Oh, sorry, Betty. It wasn't my fault. But you're dead. Um, a lot of people have said, why don't you get it fixed? Why don't you get it fixed? Get it back on the road, man. Look at it. <laughs> I actually tied up the prices and we're talking like over a grand in just parts. Uh, something that is quite interesting uh, is this. Uh, I was trying to work out where that came from, from my bike. And it took me about five minutes to realise that it didn't, because it says Ford inside. I was like, that's not from my bike, I'm sure it's not. But yeah, so parts of his car I've actually got. So there you go. There is the bike. There is Betty. Throw a cable snapped. <laughs> Ooh. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, as suspected. It didn't it didn't actually come out too badly. Sort of the rest of the bike. It's just the front end, but it took such an impact that I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the frames got damaged. Three does suck. Remember how long I had this bike? I had this for five years. And now she did. But there you go. Right. Ah, back to my room. So there you go. She's dead. Um, I don't know the damage to the other man's car. I have just had a phone call from my solicitor, which is a little bit worrying, which is I have to contact the police again because they didn't supply a policy number for him and they believe that he might not have any insurance. Little flag. Woo. Um... But I can deal with that. It's not really a huge problem for me. Uh, what was a problem was during the, uh, the first few days of the all the paperwork, not the paperwork, the phone calls, letting all the people know they made a mistake and opened two claims on the same day using the details of the man that hit me today and what I hit. Um, 
and the details of a man who hit me two years ago. So that really complicated things, and I had to do an awful lot of phone calls while concussed. So it's hard enough for me. I mean, I was amazed that I managed to make sense of it when I had concussion, um, compared to them, who are perfectly fine in office doing their day job, and they don't seem to really get it done right. Insurance companies for you, I guess. So, injuries. Um, the major injuries on the day were my thumbs, um, and I'm going to show you a couple of pictures because the, the bruising in this one you might not be able to see it now. Um, this is nothing compared to what it was. So there's a picture of what my thumb did look like. And here's a picture of what my thumb could do, the other one. Notice how easy I could dislocate that. Well thankfully that's strengthening up a little bit but I do have an issue. And if you can tell, I didn't have that lump before. Didn't have that. I'm worried I've got a tendon snapped or something in between, and that's why that's dropping so much lower. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, the hospital didn't give me any sort of follow-on treatment or tell me what to do in the future. So I'm going to have to start making phone calls after I've done this to um, get back to the hospital to get my thumbs double-checked, because I don't know if I mentioned this, I should have done. They didn't x-ray this hand. They x-rayed this one, but they didn't x-ray this one. But this one's the one that's causing more problems than this one now, even though this had more bruising on the day. Um, my knee is the major issue. Now, I had a little bit of road rash, um, didn't have the proper trousers. I had two pairs of trousers on, got through them, of course. As Jake said in his video, if I had some rock jeans, I would have been alright. But, oh well. Um, I've always known that that's going to be the case and it's, it's the rash and there was also a puncture wound uh, that was a bit gruesome when they were first looking at that they were squeezing it and there was sort of blood and bits of my insides coming out of that hole uh, they didn't stitch that up they thought they were going to but there was nothing unfortunately to stitch it up with because everything was just ripped out um, my knee as I say for the cut isn't such an issue that dressing is getting changed three times a week and it should heal up like the scar, but that I'm not bothered about. The major problem is the pot, what I've done to my knee itself, because it's, well, we're talking, what, 13 days on now? I'm not sure. Um, and my knee's still pretty badly swollen. Can I show you this? This is going to be difficult. I've got my leg on a box, by the way. This might be difficult to show you. It might be difficult. Or it might be extremely difficult. Do you know what? I have a better idea, I'll just edit something in in a minute, which where I use the camera afterwards, see? I'm thinking, where are you going? There you go. That's not so bad compared to what it was, but it's still pretty fucked up. So, yes, that is what my knee looks like now, nice and bruisy, but as I say, the major problem is I can't, I can walk with a crutch. Um, it helps for long period, if I'm sort of stood up getting some food or something in the kitchen. Um, I can't, I can, I can hobble on my leg, but I can't really, I, it, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, oh, let's talk about the, well I suppose you want to see the, the damage to my equipment. Now, my jacket came off pretty well untouched, somehow. This is the thing we can't, because I don't know what happened when I hit the car. Because for all I know, I could have hit it and flown over, I could have hit it and flown round, I could have hit it and been thrown off sideways, I don't know. I literally remember, and then, nothing. Um, I'm still trying to get the police to give me some more information. There was a witness who came out of his house, and I think I actually know him, but I'm, I can't really remember much from the sort of few days past, and I can't remember a lot from that day. And I think I know who he is, but I'm worried that I'm not remembering him right. But he, I, yeah, I need to talk to him, I need to get some more information, because I, I have a lot of gaps that I need to fill in myself just to understand what's going on. Um... So that's why I was talking about jacket, yes. Um, gloves have come out okay. I'm at the point of showing you them because they look fine, but there are some scuffs on them. But good gloves, see? I mean, okay, I know I've got two dislocated thumbs, but and the bruising's gone now, but you see? I still have all my fingers, so that's very good. Um, what you got? See, oh, the helmet. Now, this is what's going to confuse a lot of people. You're like, I thought you used an icon. I have an icon helmet, which I use when I'm vlogging, or if I'm on weekend rides, or rides that I'm doing for pleasure. If I'm going to work, um, I occasionally, and this is the stupid thing, I haven't, I actually was using my icon for a while, because I changed the gold visor on it, and I was using it so I could listen to music on the way to work, um, 
But on this occasion, I had the gold visor on, and I thought, oh, I'll just use my older helmet, which I do use occasionally, and I use my AGV. And as you can see, there is an amount of face grinding going on there. Uh, again, it doesn't look too bad, um, which is quite incredible. That's my doorbell. Shout out, people. Um, so I wasn't wearing my hair camera because you're all going to be saying, I had a lot of people saying, get the footage up, get the footage up. If you think I had the footage, you think I'd get it up, that shit would help pay for a new bike. Um, apologies, the nurse just came and changed my dressing, so I have no fucking idea what I was talking about. I've got a feeling I had Betty's face in my hand. Yes, Betty's face. Um, oh, Jesus. This is Betty's face. I actually have to tell you, this thing makes me sad because when I look at that bike, it doesn't strike me as being Betty anymore. And I go, that's sentimental, it's just a bike. Jesus, I had that bike for a long time and I did a lot of things on it. And it was like it had a personality to me, but it doesn't seem like that bike anymore because it is so messed up. But when I found this, flattened, mangled, but still holding together, I will add um, face sign. Yeah, it sucks. Um, as for a new bike, this uh, a lot of people are asking me about this, what I'm going to do about a new bike. Oh, a lot of people are saying, oh, you're going to get a DRZ then, aren't you? I would love to, but remember, I only have a CBT. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be until I'm walking properly again. I'm only physio, etc. Um, so I'm going to need a bike to get to work probably in the next, well, worst case scenario, I'm hoping like a month, two months. Um, worst case um, and I'll have the money from the insurance company for my bike but remember that's current market value so I might get seven eight hundred pounds so if I can fight I can try and might get a bit more but I know just just for the fact that I'm gonna be having problems paying for the next bike um, because I'm looking around and it as, as I say um, the the, the the, that value will only pay for a 125, it won't be able to pay for a DRZ. The money that would be able to pay for that would be the compensation for my injuries, which I might not get for six months. When I mean, the last time this happened, it took six months to get the money. It could take a year. It depends. Basically, it seems to be that you get your money towards the end of your injury healing, because obviously the longer it goes on, the more it's worth. So they keep it open until you basically you heal. Um, so and then there's all the other paperwork and all the bullshit involved with that so that means i might as i say have to wait wait six months to a year for that money um and obviously in that meantime i'm going to need a bike so it's going to be a 125 um and it might well be another pulse i did think to myself that's a really silly idea because i had a lot of problems with it along the way but the things i know the bike so well and it's got more power than quite a few 125s um, and then now if you start going, I'll get a two-stroke. No, I don't want a two-stroke. I have been looking at the XTX125, the Yamaha. It's a, um, a four-stroke. It's got a little bit more power than a Pulse. And I've seen them for a reasonable price. And then they look okay. But that, I don't know. As I, it all depends on how much money I get. Um, I may, if I don't have a huge amount of money given back to me and I need to get a bike. I don't really want to get a second-hand Pulse because, as I've said um some people who are speaking about it um my bike five years on was in better condition than a lot of the bikes that i saw that were two years old now it's because of the way i looked after it mainly um and they are the type of bike that's going to get ragged and possibly dropped and etc etc and there might be underlying damage i mean i know the bike well enough that i should be able to look at one and say mm, okay that's what's wrong with that. that's not what's wrong with it if not i might be needing to speak to some companies that might want a bit of promotion for the fact that they sell that bike, if you're getting my hint. Um, um, I was hoping I'd have a hire bike, by the way, um, that I could make a few vlogs on, but of course, the claim will be settled with my insurance company before I can walk again, which means I can't get a hire bike. Uh, which is a bit annoying, because that would have been quite funny, to be able to ride a CG around, because that's what I would have got, uh, and just show you why I hate the thing. Um, but, never mind. Sure thing, if I've forgotten anything, I've had too much to cover. Okay, so I think I've covered pretty much everything I can think of at this point. I don't think I've forgotten anything. But there is one thing that I do have to say, and that is thank you to you guys. Because uh, the amount of messages that I got has been insane. I mean nuts. 
I turned after after a few days. I turned my PC on after I'd um, crashed, and all the emails were coming into my email program. And uh, there was over thirteen hundred emails, and trust me, not many of those were not YouTube related. Um, it 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 is. It was blowing me away to start with, and then it just kept going and going and going. Everyone wishing me well and sort of saying, "Don't worry about rushing things." And it was really nice to have that sort of a backup because it just reminds me you guys are there. And I'm sorry, it's going to be as I say for the future. It's going to be a bit hit and miss for a while. Um, being able to do videos because I mean I've got some, obviously some f funny ideas that I could do in the meantime. Uh, but that's going to require me to be a bit more mobile and at the moment I can't. So what I have done though, and I'm pretty sure it's on the PC, is I've got some. I've got a video to do with a Q&A. Now don't give any questions yet. Wait till that video comes out. But obviously that means like that will be a video on the bike. So that might confuse you a bit. Um, and then obviously there'll be a Q&A video out the back of that. Um, and I'm going to just do what I can do. Um, I don't want to make videos for the sake of making videos, just because I f feel like I should. If I'm going to make a video, I'll try and make it worth it. Um, and obviously the more that I heal, the more I'll be able to do. So there you go. So thank you for all being there for me. You've been awesome. Um, R.I.P. to Betty, because... I actually really miss that bike. It kind of sucks. I used to... Like, I was only saying this yesterday, that when... I used to come, I go in the morning, I wake up and I go in the morning to um, get some breakfast or something and on the way back up the stairs I used to walk, look out the front door, check Betty was there, like yep you're there, you're okay, you're right, Betty, and actually say hello Betty and come upstairs and carry on then and then I did that the other day and um, without thinking about it and there was an empty space there and I was like oh, oh yeah and then I sort of look and then there's the mangled wreckage of Betty on the floor and I'm like ah. Oh. And it sucks, because um, as, as as you've seen before, I go nuts with that bike, and it is starting to really annoy me that I can't ride, and even if I could get on a bike and ride, I can't yet, because I don't have one, and it might be a problem, um, but it's a problem that I will solve, because I need a bike, no question. So I will find, when there's a will, there is a way, and when there's a way... It's going to involve blackmail, probably. <laughs> so, until next time, I will catch you next time. She, she seems up for it, Chase. I mean, she's not a looker. Shall, shall I arrange it? What should we say, next week at eight? Yeah? Eight. Oinky. Oink, pork face. Ham chops. Bacon f features. All your sausage.